so-called non-communicable diseases are on the rise everywhere in the world. And among these non-communicable diseases, hypertension is both the most prevalent one, but also uh, the one that we can do something about. What is really needed to address non-communicable diseases is not necessarily to deliver more innovation, but to innovate the delivery of care. And we also want to answer the question, what lies at the heart of innovation? At the heart of uh, innovation is anything that makes life easier for people. So keep it simple, keep it simple and keep it simple. It's got to be simplified to the point where it's completely palatable to both the healthcare professional as well as the patient. Using new approaches to an existing problem where the current strategies and approaches have not worked. At the heart of the innovation is the personnel and the technology. The person to deliver what the technology provides. The COMHIP uh, uh, program is a hypertension prevention project in a district in Ghana. The project is designed to improve the screening, diagnosis and treatment of hypertension. Uh, instead of doctors uh, diagnosing hypertension, we are using committee nurses. Uh, instead of uh, pharmacists dispensing drugs, we are using chemist shops. And we are making sure that uh, we are using tablets. For, uh, to collect the information and make it available for the doctors when cases are referred to them. We'll be able to um, diagnose cases early, treat cases early, prevent strokes and prevent deaths. Through the Scale Up project, we we're able to bring uh, the opportunities for getting tested closer to people. And so the community health worker knocks on your door and then he measures your blood pressure and if it's high, he now refers you to a clinic where you can go and get treatment. So it, it's really simplified the whole process and you don't have to think about going all the way to a district hospital or to a big general hospital to get, get treated. And uh, there are multiple uh, things that we need to do. One is reduce the load on the doctors and try and have uh, you know, non-physician healthcare providers to manage hypertension, that's number one. Number two is helping them with uh, technological support, such as having electronic health record or decision support system, which are loaded on a mobile phone or a tablet. And these can actually go a long way in reducing the, uh, in managing hypertension better. I think that when health is discussed, it automatically means health care. Um, in most of our societies. And so the, the innovation of looking at community is to say there's, there are impacts on health and the clinical um, enterprise is a really important one to be sure, but there are also complementary uh, realities in which people live that can uh, make them healthy or unhealthy. So in a sense, you, you need to work on uh, when the patient is away from the doctor's office, um, what it, how the environments can be shaped in order to, uh, to give them more opportunities to be healthy. I think at the heart of innovation uh, really is in the design of whatever innovative model is carried out, stakeholder involvement needs to be critical. If the stakeholders are not involved, it could be as simple as anything, it's not going to take off. Today we learned more about what is at the heart of innovation and the key takeaways from this dialogue event here in London today are that the, the main part of it is collaboration between different sectors, different disciplines and um, bringing innovation in all possible ways. Novelty, newness, value and implementability. I think that innovation is not working in silos but working across systems. It has to be meaningful. And it has to meet the needs of physicians, patients, healthcare systems and caregivers.